joined now by UCF coach Craig Bubbly. Uh, coach, congratulations on the win today. We'll be dancing to the day off. Let's get your uh, opening thoughts on the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously a crazy ninth inning, um, but, you know, we found a way. Um, uh, at this, this stage of the season, it's just survive in advance and find a way to win games and move on. Um, obviously, Cam Leiter was phenomenal today. Uh, really proud of him. Um, you know, just you know, pitched his tail off. Uh, he did a great job. Huge double play there in the, in the seventh um, to finish it. Uh, but he was able to use his changeup a lot more today, really keep the left-handers off, off balance. And, uh, and just competed and, and was able to find a way and, and, and gave us a chance. You know, offensively, we did a couple good things with um, um, some situational hitting, the sack fly. You know, we, we took some hit by pitches, um, so we did a good job at that. You know, we just left too many guys on base. We had some opportunities to really open the game up. Um, you know, we just couldn't get the big hit, but that, that's just part of the game. Um, you know, just hopefully this gets us a little chance to, to slow down, relax, uh, get a day off tomorrow, and then, uh, you know, get back to work and practice, and then. Be ready to go on uh, Thursday. Questions from the uh, Coach, a little bit more on Cam Leiter. What's been the difference the last couple of weeks with him? Yeah, I mean, I just think, again, at the beginning of the year, just a lot of pressure on himself. Like, he put a lot of pressure on himself and just felt like every outing he wanted to make up for not pitching the way he wanted to the last outing. And that just kept kind of piling up. And, um, and the pressure just, he, you know, again, I don't think it was anything external. I think it was everything internal in terms of him just wanting to be great. Uh, he knew that he had the ability to, to, to be the best guy on our team, and, and he just wasn't showing that, and, and he just felt like he was letting everybody down. And, and, and again, as a young guy, like that's that's one of the tough things to, to get over, is to be able to be mentally tough enough to, to handle it. And you know, we just had, a, had hit the reset button, and um, just told him, like, man, just relax, be you. Like, don't worry about the past. Let's just worry about moving forward and, and putting together a great string of starts here to finish the season. And he's done that. Um, since that reset, he's, he's been our best guy. That's why we started him today. Um, and he's just continuing to get better. I just think he's getting more confident um, and uh, just, again, learning from, from, from the past experiences of how to handle himself, how to prepare, uh, what he needs to do to be in, in a great mental space, uh, and then what he needs to do physically. And again, I thought the change up today was a, was a difference maker for him uh, because it really, really was uh, keeping the left handers off, off balance. And, and then he just made the fastball play, I think, more with his high velocity. So um, he did a great job. I'm really proud of him. He really matured a lot in the last you know, four months. Uh, take us through that final at bat. Like, what was your reaction seeing the ball go over the fence? Yeah, I mean, I'm just ball? happy. Happy for the win. Um, you know, um, Andrew did a great job. Um, you know, I was hoping to get the leadoff guy on there. Couldn't do it. And now it's just trying to pass the bat, get the next guy up. Obviously, you feel good if you can get somebody on base for Ben and, and Andrew. Great said he didn't didn't care to see those guys hit and he just uh, was able to get the job done. So huge at bat, but again when you got an older guy that's kind of been through the ringer, it, it's you know, they're able to slow the game down and, and put together a good swing and um, you're able to find a way. And like you said, left a lot of guys on base, so you had opportunities to stretch that three over. Yeah, yeah, it was frustrating. But again, I mean a couple bad at bats I thought in some situations, but uh, also just the game of baseball. Like just couldn't get that big hit um, when we needed it. Um, but we just kept showing up, kept getting guys on base, kept trying to put pressure on them, um, just couldn't find a hole or, or, or a spot, you know. And, um, you know, but part of it, um, and, you know, I'm proud of the kids for handling the ninth inning. You know, obviously it can be a gut punch when, when you give up the lead like that, but just came back and put together, you know, a good at bat and found a way. What does it say about the team to immediately respond to a gut punch like that, as you yeah. said, with a big walk off like that? Yeah, well, we've been we've been we've been absorbing a lot of punches this year, so we're really really good at bouncing back, and we've gone through a lot. And um, you know, I told the kids like we we're prepared, like we've seen it all. I feel like you know, nine run innings, ten run innings, walk off home runs, like um, missed opportunities, like uh, all the drama. Like we we, we prepared uh, to be out and go go to play in games like this to be able to just. Just keep showing up. Just keep going on the mound and throwing strikes. Keep keep getting up to the plate and, and putting balls in play. And good things happen when you do that. Just like just like Andrew did. Your strategy there, going from uh, Cam to Victor to Kramer, it took a while for Kramer to settle in. Then he was strong. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was just throw the guys. Um, you know, I, I like him in one inning stints better than two inning stints as, as much as I can. Obviously, they've thrown a lot of two inning stints lately. Um, so it was just kind of like, hey, like let's get the best out of them for one inning. Um, you know, and, and not try to 
to, to mess around and, and hope that they can get a second inning and then be able to, to bring them back in on you know one day's rest if we need it uh, or no day's rest. And when you feel like you got two guys at the back end that you can really trust, you know you go to them. So um, you know if we're in that situation uh, on Thursday, we'll, we'll go back to those two same guys. Can you talk a little bit about how important it is to get a win today and get a day off tomorrow instead of having to you know play another game? Yeah, I mean, it's always good to win. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we've been in both situations in my time here where we've won the first game and lost the first game. Uh, but again, I just think it's a, it gives us a breather tomorrow to be able to relax a little bit. I think, you know, just everybody geeked up and excited to be here and, and wanting to get off to a good start. So we can kind of take a breath tomorrow, get in a little bit of workout, um, <clears throat> rest, get off our feet. It was, you know, playing in the early game today, early practice yesterday, so two early morning, so we'll be able to kind of get off our feet, hydrate, and then obviously gives us an extra day to get, um, you know, uh, Kyle and, and, and Victor, the, the, you know, the, the work in the training room to, to be back to as close to 100% as we can. Um, you know, gives Ben McCabe another day to, to get off his feet to, to be able to catch. So, um, you know, it, it's a lot of positives, but the most one is just, just getting a win. You mentioned the early day, but you like the energy the team brought. Early yeah, I thought it was great. I thought we were ready to go. I, I thought everybody was excited. Um, and again, um, you know, it makes it a lot easier when, when Cam comes out and, and is ready to go. I mean, um, he walked one guy all day today and then kept guys off base. And, uh, but he was he was mowing them down from the beginning, and I think that just gave us more confidence, knew that he was on, and, and uh, you know, and that brought up the energy level. Uh, What's up, Bryce? I'm just happy he got a hit, you know what I mean? Like uh, the home run is just part of the game. If you put good swings, good moves, uh, trust your trust your ability to swing at good pitches, um, you're able to do those kind of things. And um, you know, I'm just happy. You know, we talked a lot about a dynamic offense, you know, and um, you know, we, we've won a lot of games by, by scoring a lot of runs and hitting a lot of home runs. Um, today it was a little different through, through the first eight innings. Um, and, and then we were just able to get the hit. And we practiced a lot. Of just putting together good at bats when the game's on the line, and uh, again for him to be able to slow the game down, uh, trust his move, uh, and be able to get a pitch to hit. Uh, I mean, that's what you you hope from older guys uh, that have been around the program a long time. So I'm uh, really happy for him. He's been a big part of our, our program. And again, you look at Andrew, the injuries that he's had to overcome, and just the bad luck uh, the last couple of years, and uh, to be able to do the things he's done all year to give us that. Um, Calming presence at the top of the lineup and, and do a good job to to you know get on base and, and let Ben and, and, and Sonny do their do their deal. Um, you know it's, it's really it's really exciting for me to see a guy go through the, the kind of the trials and tribulations that he's had to overcome them and then be able to get rewarded with a huge hit today. Yeah, short memories. Uh, they've been our guys from day one. We're going to roll with them. Um, you know, uh, be ready to go when your number's called the next time on, on, on Thursday. Like, uh, I trust those guys. Uh, they've been through it all. They're, they're older guys. Um, you know, obviously, didn't didn't go exactly the way you planned, but that's part of the game. Uh, you, you move on. You learn from what, what happened and get yourself ready to go for the next one. Thanks, everybody.